All right, guys, so congratulations to the Michigan Wolverines uh, for winning the national championship. These guys absolutely deserved it. Um, it was one hell of a defensive effort. This team this team looked like a like an NFL football team, guys. You got to give them a lot of credit for what they were able to accomplish. Uh, of course, they beat my Alabama Crips at the time. The Rose Bowl was a hell of a game. Um, and listen, like I said, I thought that that game, that was a hard-nosed football game, hard-fought, two NFL types of caliber football teams for going against each other for all four quarters. This game right here, and I, and this game was a little sloppy, right? I thought like last the last game was sloppy, but this game was probably a little bit more sloppy, which is the lack of execution for both teams. But uh, until the fourth quarter, and I mean, if we're just talking about the offensive side of the ball, but Michigan pulled it away, right? Their defense made way took advantage of way of, of opportunities that Washington's offense gave. Like Washington's offense just could not execute, and they were. A lot of opportunities, right? Michigan, this is probably the one game that I've seen from Michigan where there actually was a lot of like mishaps in the secondary, like a lot of miscommunication, some bus coverages here and there, that if Washington could just either provide Penix with more time or if Penix doesn't miss the open read, then who knows Who knows how this game could have gone. Um, but they did. They missed those opportunities. And Michigan, they're, they're, they are a team that you have to take advantage of. You got to take advantage of opportunities by going against the team because this is going to tell you that window will close real fast. And that's exactly what you saw tonight. So um, listen, I know a lot of people will say that Michigan are cheaters and allegations. And like I said, I already ate my crow when I said that JJ McCarthy, I, I said a long time, I said like a long time ago, I didn't think he was going to be good enough to get this team to a national championship. And listen, it's not like he carried this team to the national title, right? It's not like Michigan, it's not like JJ McCarthy had like, uh, you know, he put, you know, he had a Stenton Bennett performance in the national championship um, where he literally, you know, put the team on his back in the second half or he had a um, uh, a Deshaun Watt, like Deshaun Watson's like, like it's not like he had a Deshaun Watson type performance and or, or Joe Burrow performance in the national title, but he played his role. He made plays when when he need, when 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 it needed to be made uh, when they needed to like when, for instance, like when Michigan, when. It seemed like, excuse me, when it seemed like Washington's uh, defense had all the momentum in the world, it, like when they made those adjustments to stop a Michigan's run game, uh, guess who kind of burst that wide open? It was J.J. McCarthy. Uh, the usage of his legs, I thought, kind of didn't really switch the momentum to Michigan's favor, but it definitely didn't, uh, you know, it definitely, you know, Washington definitely didn't keep it. So you got to give a lot of credit where credit is due to J.J. McCarthy. He took care of the football, didn't make huge mistakes, made plays when they needed to be made. For Michigan at the end of the day. And that's, you know, and, and like I said, AJ McCarron did that 2011 Alabama against LSU. That's what AJ McCarron was in 2012. I mean, that's who AJ McCarron was. That's who Stenson Bennett was in, in the national championship against Alabama. Even, even though I think that Stenson Bennett made way more plays in the second half, that's pri pro, pro, you know, primarily what Stenson Bennett did in that national title in 2021. Um, you know, like this, like we've seen quarterbacks, like not everyone's going to have a Vince Young performance. Not everyone's going to have a Deshaun Watson performance. Sometimes having a A.J. McCarron or even now we can say it separate and say now a J.J. McCarthy performance. You know, if you have the team, which Michigan clearly did, right, their offensive line was elite. Their defensive line was elite. Their secondary mate, their secondary was really, really good today. Um, they were extremely disciplined. They were extremely disciplined. And, you know, I mean, Michigan played the like the exact same way that Michigan played this season, uh, this game. They've played the entirety of the season and they've won in multiple ways because of it. Right. Washington. And I'll say this from a Washington. Washington's a tough, gritty football team. They didn't quit. They didn't give up. They tried their best. But Michigan's style of, of football. Right. That quote unquote Big Ten North Ann Arbor type style, man, it's. It's wear and tear. And Washington, let's be honest, they're not built to stop teams. They're not built to stop teams like Michigan, right? Where Michigan can suffocate you. Uh, Michigan's wear and tear type style, their, phys their physicality, their size, their athleticism. It's something that if Washington, you got to play the perfect game. Or you need, you got to come close to playing a perfect game. And we saw today, man, Washington, Washington failed to execute on so many opportunities. Holding calls, uh, so many... Uh, so many offside calls by for Washington, or so many false start calls for Michigan uh, for Washington. Uh, again, Michael Penix Jr. not going through his progressions, uh, not not again staring down the first read instead of going through the progressions, um, missing wide open receivers. It, it, it was just you know receivers dropping the ball, running back dropping crucial catches. 
Um, and again, they couldn't they couldn't establish a running game. Now the running back Dylan Johnson, that dude was a warrior, not clearly not a hundred percent, but they just could not establish a run game because Michigan's line of scrimmage line of scrimmage pretty much controlled it for all four quarters. When Michigan had op- when I'm sorry, when Washington had opportunities through the air, just couldn't do it. And you're you're not going to beat Michigan like that. You're not going to beat Michigan if you can't take advantage of the opportunities that they gave you. Um, like I said before, man, Michigan's one of those teams where they will simply uh, just shut the window out. Um, ask us, right? We had a great chance to win that game. We didn't take full advantage of it. We had a great chance to win that game by two scores. We didn't take full advantage of it because of self-inflicted wounds. Michigan closed that gap real quick, and they ended up taking care of business late in the fourth quarter, and, and including into uh, overtime. So that's who Michigan is, man. They're a boa constrictor, and if you don't kill them off quickly, sooner or later, they're just going to suffocate you. They're going to suffocate you to death, and that's what Michigan was able to do tonight. Um, so congratulations to Michigan. Congratulations to Jim Harbaugh. Uh, definitely up there with one of the greatest coaches, I think now, or at least modern coaches when it comes to college football, especially with the national championship. Um, will he stay in college is the biggest question, right? This is the guy that has all the leverage in the world. Let, let's be honest. The relationship that, that he has, especially with some of these executives is rough, uh, to say the least. Um, and knowing how, Knowing how I think the NFL and him kind of part, it, it's tough because you look at how he parted ways with the NFL and how he's looking with college. Will he stay? I have no idea. Um, but I can guarantee you there's going to be a lot of teams in the NFL that's going to try, that's going to reach out and get Jim Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh is, is probably the hottest coaching name in football right now. And um, there's going to be a lot of NFL teams that are going to try to prime away. So the question is, is that when Jim Harbaugh is gone, who does he take, Mentor? Because let's be honest, Mentor, I think, used to coach at Baltimore. He took Mentor with him to Michigan, and look what happened. I mean, he literally ran the exact same style of defense that they ran with Baltimore. And all of a sudden, they're they're running that Baltimore scheme here, and it has worked fantastically here at the University of Michigan. So we'll see, man. We'll, we'll see what happens with Jim Harbaugh. Uh, but Michigan finally got a national championship, first outright title in I don't know how long. Um, Because the last time they they had a co-national championship. So this is their first outright national title in a long time, 15-0. Join a a, a short list of names, Georgia, Clemson, and uh, LSU. So, uh, yeah, congratulations to Michigan, man. Prove the the doubters wrong. And, uh, yeah, congrats to to you guys. So, um, yeah, Jan Jan Sports, catch you guys later. Peace.